In this video, we're going to go through how to write the equation of an arithmetic sequence and then finding the tenth term of the sequence. So let's begin by what is the equation of an arithmetic sequence? Well, the equation of an arithmetic sequence is a sub n equals a sub 1 plus d times n minus 1. So what do all these pieces mean? Well, our a sub n is the new term value that we're looking for. It's kind of like the y equals. Our a sub 1 is going to be the first term of the sequence. d is our common difference. And the n is what term you're working on. So that's kind of like the x value. Let's do some examples. I think it'll make some sense. So here we have to write an equation for the nth term of the arithmetic sequence, and then find our a sub 10. So if we look and see, gosh, what do we have? We're going to notice first that we need our first term. So here it is right there, first term. First term. So our a sub 1 is negative 5. Well, now we need to know what our common difference is. So we want to know how do you get from a negative 5 to a negative 9. And I would subtract 4 more. So my common difference is a negative 4. So now let's go ahead and let's plug this in and see what we got. So our a sub n is what we're looking for. And it says the first term, so negative 5 plus our d, which is negative 4 times n minus 1. So what we're going to do here to finish this, let's just move this up a little bit, is we're going to now distribute our negative 4. And that's going to give us a sub n equals negative 5 minus 4n plus 4. And we're going to combine our like terms with our negative 5 and our positive 4. And that's going to give us a sub n equals negative 4n minus 1. So that is our equation. Now, if I want to be able to find the tenth term, that means that I want to know what is a sub 10. So that means I'm going to move my little n here. And I am going to, in the n spot, put the number 10. Let's go ahead and give ourselves some more room, and we're going to work that out. Let's just move this really quick. So when we plug that into our calculator, we're going to get that our tenth term, so our tenth term is going to equal a negative 41, and that's going to be our second answer. Let's go ahead and do another one. So letter B, we have 6, 10, 14, and 18. We already know our first term, which is 6. Our common difference is how do we get from a 6 to a 10? And here, in order to get from 6 to 10, we add 4. So positive 4. And now we're going to plug in our things, our values for what we have. So we have 6 plus d times n minus 1. Then we distribute our 4, and that gives us a sub n equals 6, oops, should be a blue, 6 plus 4n minus 4. We can combine our like terms, and that gives us a sub n equals 6, excuse me, 4n plus 2. So that's the first answer. That's our equation. And now we want to take the n out and put a 10 in its spot instead. So we want to know what is 4 times 10 plus 2. And so when we plug that into our calculator, 10 times 4 is 40, and 40 plus 2 is 42. And that gives us the tenth term of that sequence. I want you to try this next one on your own. So I want you to push pause and work out the problem. And then when you're done, push play and let's see if you were right. So here we see that our first term is our a sub 1, which is 34. And our common 
difference is how do we get from 34 to 37? Which is by adding 3. And we know that we can do that because it's already been told that it's an arithmetic sequence, so we know it has a D. Then we plug in what we need. So our a sub n equals our a sub 1, our first term, plus the D times n minus 1. And now we simply need to distribute our 3, which gives us a sub n equals 34 plus 3n minus 3. Combine our like terms, and we see that a sub n equals 3n plus 31. So that is the equation for the nth term. And now we want to know what if the n was a 10? So now we're going to replace our n with the number 10. And we're going to plug that into our calculators. And we're going to see that our a sub 10 value is going to equal a 61. And so that is how you write the equation for the nth term of an arithmetic sequence, and then find the tenth term.